Chapter 9, question 19. A random sample is obtained from a population with a mean of mu equals 45. After the treatment is administered to the individuals in the sample, the sample mean is m equals 49 with the standard deviation of s equals 12. Question A. Assuming the sample consists of n equals 9 scores, compute r squared and the estimated Cohen's d to measure the size of the treatment effect. In order to compute r squared, we're going to have to compute the t. In order to compute the t, we're going to have to compute the estimated standard error. But I'm not going to go through the full four-step process for this question because it doesn't ask us to determine whether or not there is a significant or non-significant effect. So to calculate r squared, we need to calculate t. Before we can calculate t, we have to calculate the estimated standard error. And I suppose the first step should actually be to pull out those values from the question. So it said the population value was 45, the mean after treatment was 49, and the standard deviation was equal to 12. What changes from a uh, to B is the, sam the number of scores in the sample. So for part A, N equals 9. So this estimated standard error, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to take S divided by the square root of N. So we're going to take 12 divided by the square root of 9. 12 divided by 3, and we've got 4. Now we're going to plug that into our t. So we take 49 minus 45, and we divide it by the estimated standard error, which is 4. So we get 4 divided by 4, we get 1. Now we can compute r squared. r squared equals the formula for this is t squared divided by t squared plus the degrees of freedom. Degrees of freedom equals n minus 1. So 9 minus 1. So we've got 1 squared divided by 1 squared plus 8. 1 divided by 9, which is 0.111. Compute Cohen's D. We take the formula here is the mean minus the population value divided by the standard deviation. So we take 49, subtract 45, divided by 12. 4 divided by 12, 0.333. And now we'll move on to B, where it changes the sample size. And then in C, we'll compare the, the values from A and B and make some conclusions. One thing to add, this R squared is 0.111. That is larger than 0 0.09, but smaller than 0.25. So that is a medium effect size. Cohen's D that is larger than 0.2 but still smaller than 0.5 so this is a small effect size 